Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous session we learned how the 8085 microprocessor reads from the memory. In this session we are going to learn writing to memory in 8085 microprocessor. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session, as announced earlier, in this session we will learn writing to the memory, that is how the 8085 microprocessor is going to write at a particular location within the memory. Now I hope you remember that in the previous session itself, we completed the entire organization which will facilitate data transfer. There we also learned that we will need these control signals and the memory signals in order to complete the organization. Additionally, we established the connections between them forming this combinational circuit. Now we are going to use the same structure today and in order to illustrate how the microprocessor is going to write to the memory, this time we will have some data within the accumulator of the microprocessor and we will try and write that data in the memory location F820. And for that, the memory address register, as you can notice, it's already holding the data F820. Furthermore, the higher order byte and the lower order byte of the address have already been sent via the address bus. Remember, at this point of time, ALE is active. And this is also necessary because ALE being active indicates that this particular channel is working as the lower order address bus, not the data bus. Now, in the previous session, we learned about memory read. In this session, since we are going to write to the memory, we will need the specific input sequence for these control signals so that the memory write can happen. Now, we already have seen the sequence. All we have to do is remember that. So, when IO slash M bar is 0, WR bar is 0, and RD bar is set to 1, functionality wise, it specifies that the microprocessor is going to write to the memory. And why is so? Because these two are active low pins. When RD bar is set, it means the microprocessor is not interested in reading. Since WR bar is reset to 0, this particular combination then specifies that the microprocessor is interested in writing. And this input sequence is known as memory write. And this is also active low. And the reason is also the same as it was for memory read. Now what was the reason? Well, these memory signals have bubbled inputs. And that is specified by the presence of this bar in this particular case as well. Now remember, we are going to write to the memory and the microprocessor for that will have some data present within the accumulator. Say the data that we are going to write inside the memory is EB. Now do remember, we are using the hexadecimal notation for the ease of human readability. In reality, it will be stored in binary. But worry not, since within the memory we have got eight different cells, we will store the data by the end of the entire operation in binary. Now let's begin the process. Remember, the memory address register is already prompting F820, that is the location with which the 8085 microprocessor is going to communicate. To be precise, this is the location where EB will be stored. And already, the higher order byte as well as the lower order byte of the address have been sent to the address decoder. And at this particular time, ALE is set to 1, indicating this channel is carrying the lower order address byte. So clearly, so far the address decoder has decoded the address. Now the memory needs to know what the microprocessor intends to perform. And for that, we will need this particular input sequence. Notice, we will be sending 0 through IO slash M bar, indicating that the microprocessor is communicating with the memory. WR bar will be reset to 0, indicating the microprocessor is interested in writing. And at the same time, RD bar will be set to 1, which will specify that the microprocessor can't read now, it will be mainly writing. Now, since the address decoder already has decoded the address, so it's about time we can free our data channel. 
And meanwhile, the latch will be responsible for providing the lower order byte of the address to the address decoder. Because the address decoder will need the entire address till the entire operation has been completed. And that's where the latch comes to rescue. Because also in order to send the data, we will need the data bus, which in case of 8085 is a multiplexed one. Anyway, in order to transfer the data, we have to reset the ALE pin, which will indicate that the data channel is now free for data transfer. Now, once this is done, then we can send the control signals. Now, at first, we are communicating with the memory, so IO slash M bar is going to be zero. And since we are interested in writing, the WR bar signal will also be zero. At the same time, RD bar will be set to one. Let's now observe how this combinational circuit is going to react to this input sequence. So, WR bar is zero. IO slash M bar is also zero. And RD bar is one. Now notice the output of this augit, 0 and 1. So the output is going to be 1. On the other hand, through this augit, we are sending zeros. So clearly, the output is going to be 0. Now notice, since this line is carrying 0 and it is a bubbled input, it will be active. On the other hand, in case of RD bar, the input which is coming is 1. So through bubble, it will be inactive. Now the memory knows that the microprocessor is interested in writing, not in reading. And this combination is known as memory write, which is activated through these control signals. So once the memory knows that what the microprocessor intends to do, thereafter the data can be transferred. Now we are going to send EB via the data bus that is 80 0 to 87 and then it will be placed onto the data channel of the memory that is D7 to D0 and from there finally it will be placed within the memory location F820. Now here it is hexadecimal but as I told you earlier within the memory location it will be stored as binary. So what will be the 8 bits which will be stored in this particular location? Well notice EB. E is 14, that is 1110, and B is 11, that is 1011. So within the memory location F820, after the writing operation, the bits 1110, that is E, thereafter 1011, which specifies B, will be stored. Now this entire process is known as the memory write sequence. Let me note down all the things one after the another. So at first, when ALE is 1, the microprocessor will select the memory location. And the memory location is going to be provided by the memory address register. Now once the address decoder has the address, and it already has decoded the address, thereafter, ALE will be reset to 0, indicating that D7 to D0 will now work as data bus. Now after that, memory write will be reset to zero. That is, through these input sequence, WR bar will be activated and at the same time RD bar will be inactivated. Which basically means the memory write sequence is now active. And once this is done, thereafter the data is transferred from the 8085 microprocessor to be precise the accumulator of the microprocessor to the memory. So this is the memory write sequence which the microprocessor needs to follow in order to write to the memory. So in this session we cover the topic writing to the memory. Alright people, that will be all for this session. From the next session onwards, we are going to learn about basic interfacing components of 8085 microprocessor. So I hope to see you in the next ones. Thank you all for watching.